Okay, guys, welcome back to Ipuripu TV. Now, going straight to the point, um, we have an update for those of you who are living in Germany. The latest update here is that um, the German government is planning on mass deportation of migrants now. We've been looking at the situation for a very long time. Now, let me show you because when we talk, we want you to see. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has announced large-scale deportations of rejected asylum seekers. So if you're in Germany and you are, um, your asylum has been rejected, I think uh, this is the right opportunity for you to start making your arrangement to leave that territory immediately. Some of you does not know how German uh, government works. They will come in the middle of the night and bundle you out of your room. And that will be the end of the story. The next thing you are going to be hearing is either a caro or a gig, a gig, go shoot, shoot. That's when you must have landed at the Lagos airport because that is the region where they will definitely take you to. So, um, I'm going to be talking about it and I also go, I'm going to be playing a video for you. Now, today being the 24th day of um, October, look here, you will see um, this is a deportation alarm. Tomorrow, October 24th, which is today at 11.30 a.m., there will be a Dublin charter deportation to Croatia from Hamburg Airport. So others will follow suit, uh, but uh, the real news here is that there will be a large-scale deportation of failed Asylum seekers, the people who did, they did not grant um, asylum are also going to face that. And they say that um, Germany, and in September, Germany saw the highest number of irregular migrants since 2016. And also in Spain, we are also having the same influx. Look at it. Spain spent million to tackle Canary Island migration flow. So Migrants are also flowing into Spain now um, in an unimaginable um, numbers, and the rate is uh, going higher every second. Okay, so let's go in. Now, they say no migrant, more migrants entered Germany irregularly in September than in any month over the past seven years. Germany's interior ministry, Nancy Fisa is looking to ease deportation procedures. So it, it also tallies with what I'm telling you right now that we have on the screen. Now, the month of September saw the single highest number of irregular migrant entries to Germany in over seven years. Data published on Saturday shows some 2,000 with some 21,000 migrants entered the country irregularly in September alone, 21,000 people entered Germany in September alone. <laughs> and I'm sure you know that Germany has all the money in this world to carry out their deportations. You know, you, you know they had them like Italy. You know, be like Italy, we go, they do Papa Nyanya. No, in Germany, when they want to do deportation, it is straight. They know they pity anybody. That is why you see them every day. They are posting this update. This uh, particular uh, country will have their citizens back. That is deportation. Now, um, they say the highest monthly figure Germany has ever since, um, since February 2016, when around 25,650 entered the country. That particular, in one particular month, you see. So this month, uh, no, last month, September, had 21,000 entries. So if Germany witnessed 21,000 entries, what will Italy have? <laughs> Italy will have more than, I don't know, maybe they'll be having 50,000, 100,000 if care is not taken. Maybe I'll go and look for that statistics and give you an update on that. Now, according to the information, they say that the number of irregular entries to the country has steadily increased in the past months. Around 92,100 people entered Germany irregularly between January and September 2023. This year's figure has already surpassed last year's 
around 92,000 and 2021 is around 57,000. So this year um, has a tremendous increase. Draft deportation bill to be discussed on Wednesday. That is tomorrow. We'll be discussing draft on deportation very, very seriously. Now, German Interior Minister Nancy Fisa will introduce a draft bill to cabinet on Wednesday, futuring measures to more efficiently deport people, to make it very, very easy. And, you know, the capabilities of faster deportation have been reporting on this deportation matter um, recently. So those of you who are following this platform, we can testify to that. The, uh, the Rainiche Post newspaper reported on Monday, October 23rd. That's when this report came. The bill will look at ways to speed up and increase Germany's number of deportations, particularly of those considered dangerous, like people smugglers and criminals. It also takes measures to ensure deportations don't fail at the last minute. It also gives police authority to enter rooms, listen, to enter rooms other than the bedroom of the individual facing deportation if they live in a shared accommodation. This is necessary so that we can continue to provide well for people who have found protection from war and terror with us, she said. Visa added that the number of deportations facilitated this year is up to 27% from last year, but insisted there is still more to be done. The bill gives more power to police and authorities to enforce these measures and extend, and extend the period of time a person can be detained before deportation from 10 to 28 days to give authorities more time to prepare. <laughs> so this time around, it is no longer 10 days. Uh, before, it was 10 days, but now they say they have increased the number of days to 28 days so that the authorities can prepare properly. Pisa's draft was first presented to cabinet on October 11. Germany's police union said Pisa's plan would require significantly more forces to realistically implement. We are heading towards an unbelievable burden on the police when it comes to simply designing the legislation. Police Union Chairman Jochen Kopek, Kopek told the Reinschert Post. On Adihiaram, so if you day Germany, <laughs> may your eyes day open. Shores, Olaf Shores, we have to deport more. German Chancellor Olaf Shores praised FISA's plan in an interview with weekly news magazine Spiegel. We finally have to deport on a large scale those who have no right to stay in Germany, he said. We have to deport more and very, very fast, faster. We don't want to waste time again. Deportations rose in the first half of this year compared with the same period in 2022. Some 7,861 people were returned from Germany between January and June 2023. Around 1,660 were women and some 1,370 were minors. So it doesn't even matter whether you are bombino in Germany. These people know they look face. So when once they don't say no way, uh, they are no way, it's they are no way. They know they look anybody face. Let me play you this video so you can watch and also have an idea of what I'm talking about because we love to back it up with evidence now.
Okay, guys, so that is the update on this um, uh, Germany and their deportation Wahala. So uh, please do me a favor and share this video to others. To also keep them aware and keep them informed on um, these um, rising issues. The number of migrants coming into the um, continent is growing very, very seriously, and they have to take these measures to curb them. I'll see you guys on the next update. Thank you.